What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to Seeds of Resilience. My name is Splattercat and I figured out why it's changing languages on me. I figured it out. Page up and page down changes the language. So, that would explain why my recording key is on page down because it's a very, very uncommonly used thing in video games and in the worst situation all it does is usually zoom you out a little bit, which I always forget to do anyways at the beginning of the video. See, there's a system here at play. But welcome back to Seeds of Resilience where we're starting to like make progress. The first couple days were rough. Like, we started out in a bad situation, but we're kind of like bouncing back right now, and it feels nice. I... they can't see bouncing back. You keep bumping me against the wall. We've got a waddle shack. Can we make these little shacks right here? Oh, these shacks are pretty sweet, though, but we got to chop down hella trees to get those. we got to chop down, like, mad trees in order to get our hands on that one. What else can we build? So, for roofing, we need bamboo. It looks like we need some logs for the filling. We need some sticks. We need a granite block. Okay. Like, I don't have a problem with, like, anybody. So this guy over here is apparently good at woodworking. Like, who was it that was, like, really dope at mining? Like, who was our guy that was, like, the jam at mining? Blacksmith, pickaxe mastery, so it was ores. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. Give him the pickaxe. Yep, give it to Ors. I wish their name, if they could put their name like underneath right here or like above them or like below them or something, it would help out too. I have a hard time remembering people's names in this game. It's challenging. It's difficult. Uh, we've got two hours left. We might as well just go get these blackberries before we run out of food. What is that right there? Like, we've got like a bag of something over here and I don't know what it is. Maybe seeds? But yeah, I think we should probably do either a wood workshop or we could do... You know, some kind of other workshop tomorrow, but for right now, all that's left to do is schlep. So schlep away we shall. I'm going to clear out this entire berm over here. Yeah, everybody gets some HP back. There you go. And we've got loads of time to play around with, which is great. No complaints from me. So that's a broom brush right there. Does that turn, like, into a full tree? Oh, really? It becomes a dead broom. Okay, we'll clear this area out. I don't want to look at this stuff anymore. So, like, if you could just spend the whole day clearing out scrub brush, that'd be fantastic. Aside from that, we have storage here somewhere. How hard is it to make storage? We need one more crate, dude. There's got to be a crate around somewhere that I just, like, missed. It's got to be behind something or, like, somewhere. But we do need straw, and we can get straw from right there. I'm going to get that frog, too, because he looks like dinner to me. Let's go ahead and grab up some straw. We've got enough food to last us a while, so I don't feel that bad about just sort of like stockpiling major resources while we're here. And then with the two hours you have left, I guess catch us another fish. Oh, that's right. You leveled up your fishing mastery. So she... Oh, never mind. We don't have a fishing rod left. Okay, well then just like pull up whatever you can, really. I got to stay away from the plosives, man. My mic feel a little hot today. Mike's feeling a little hot today. We got any more blackberries around? We got pine cones. What are pine cones useful for? Maybe like starting fires or something? I don't know. Maybe? I'm not sure what pine cones are useful for. Go gather some blackberries. The blackberry harvest is nigh, my friends. So on this side, I wanted to chop down a tree or two. Oh, that gave me brush too. I wanted sticks. There we go. Give me the sticks. I don't need any more brush. I just need sticks. I guess it's almost the end of summer. We should probably focus on getting blackberries. These are all going to die, I think. Well, they're up till fall day two. It's not that bad. Hmm. I guess gather some seashells as well. What is that? That's just shells. Okay. So this guy right here, he's got a pickaxe. We've got shale on that side. It said we needed granite. That's magnetite. What is that right there? Yeah, go ahead and beat that for a second. Like, I don't really care how long it takes, but I do want this stone all cleared out at some point. It'll make things easier if we can get it up and out of the way. Oh, we already broke our pickaxe. Never mind. All right. Well, then I guess go fishing. There you go. A couple extra fresh fish. How are we looking on food right now? we got 14 food left, but we've got more than enough for, like, future food. So, looks good to me. We may want to spend a bunch of time fishing. I don't know if winter is going to affect fishing at all. What is that, a storm? Oh, that's not good. Hopefully, we don't get hit by a storm. That would sucketh. So today, I think we're going to have to focus on cooking a little bit. Luckily, that's pretty easily done. 
Can I get sticks or anything from this? No, I can't. Oh my good sweet lord baby Jesus, what just happened? Okay, so... We got logs right there. Yeah, go ahead and chop that down, I guess. My estimate is that pretty soon... That's gonna take five hours. Damn. It takes a while to chop this stuff down. I guess go gather more bamboo. It's never a bad idea to have further bamboo. We have acorns laying around. Do I have the stuff that I need in order to build anything? So we've got the campfire. In order to make that, I'm going to need some more filling. So we need some more twigs. Okay. Let's spend the day kind of looking around for twigs then. Now anything that looks twiggy, we'll get after. But I'm, I'm pretty sure we've more or less extinguished all the twigs on the island. We may actually just need a bunch more axes to make this happen. So, like, give everybody an axe because we're going to be chopping a lot of trees today. Like, a lot, a lot of trees. It takes five hours to do that. Damn. And it takes a long time to chop a tree. They aren't even remotely playing. Grab some blackberries. All right, she's all used up. We'll go ahead and chop a few more trees, I guess. See how many sticks we can get into our inventory so that tomorrow we can do, like, major building projects. And I can't really see anything else inside of there. Yeah, get that chestnut tree right there, too. Get that. So we've chopped down a bunch of trees on this side of the island. Did that get us anywhere near closer? Oh, it did. Nice. So we've got our metal workshop and we've got a wood workshop. Let's make the wood workshop. Why not? Uh, we'll put the wood workshop, like... I don't know. Right there. That seems okay. Uh, spend some time on it. Did I did I cook my food first before I get into this? I did. So I've got the food cooked. I'm going to cook a little bit more just to make sure that our food supply is like off the charts. And then we'll put seven hours into working on that place. But it looks like it's going to take a pretty considerable amount of tomorrow to get it finished off. Which is a bummer. Because I want to see what the wood workshop does for me. I want to see how it, like, makes things easier. A storm is coming. We should prepare for it. I don't know how you prepare for an act of God. Looks okay, though. There's our woodworking shop. So, apparently, we've got rods. We've got planks and beams and other things in here. Apparently, we need to be decent at woodworking in order to get it done. So, the only guy that can do it is this dude over here. But... A good start so there's a storm coming like how do I deal with a storm or do you just like write it out I don't know how one deals with a storm in this game just got a rudimentary axe yeah you got some hourage left go ahead and chop down a tree or two and with the time we have remaining she's got like what three hours so the blackberries are dead, unfortunately. Honestly, it looks like just about everything is dead right now. Maybe we'll just clear out the beaches and grab some extra stuff. Yeah. Go ahead and chop that down, too. I think we're starting to clear things out, though. Like, there's starting to be a lot less trees... On the areas that we're living in. I don't know how we upraise soil. Like they said that we could do some kind of like raising or lowering in here somewhere. How hard is that to do? So apparently I need like clay or like sand in order to do this. And then we can raise this up over here and make like the island bigger possibly. Might not be a bad idea. Like, just start dumping soil into the ocean and, like, letting it get a little bit larger. I mean, in real life, that's going to be something that you're not going to be able to face. I've calculated, like, erosion rates and whatnot when I was doing my hydrology classes. And, like, good luck, man. Nature's pretty powerful when it comes to moving things from point A to point B. And if nature wants it to be a certain way, it's probably going to end up that certain way no matter how much you struggle and fuss and fight. That tends to be the way that it goes, but... We can try. I mean, in the terms of a video game, it can't make it worse. All right, let's see what's up with this storm. 
A pickaxe would help a lot with these rocks. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. I'm trying to get rid of these axes, though, first. Like, I'm trying to leave some stuff up and alive, too, because I'm not really sure how this is all going to play. So, in order to make, like, better houses that are better insulated, how hard is that to do? So, we've got, like, these little single-family homes right here. So, a cramped wattle shack. It looks like it's actually considerably better than what we previously had. It might be worth building. It takes 18 hours to build of total labor, but... What is that right there? A quarry? How is a quarry helpful? So I assume we put it somewhere like right there. So it looks like maybe you just want to like place it. I don't actually know where this goes. If you look at the boundaries. Maybe it has to be like a flat area? I don't know. I'll tell you this. It looks like it doesn't really want a place. Like, maybe you have to have all the stone cleared out, like all the rough stone, and then you put it on top of a stone bedding, and then it'll work like that. I'm thinking maybe that might be what it is. And then over here, we have a blacksmithing shop. We need some clay, apparently, for that. All right. Well, I mean, I'm kind of torn. Like, part of me wants to go in and build up new houses that people can live inside of, and then we can tear down the old houses. I mean, how many of my people have, like, negatives if they sleep in the same room as other people? So this guy's fearful. And this person's a glutton. So Zarek and Pharaoh can share a house. As can Skanda. But Ors needs his own place. So we can actually make a three-person house if we really want to. And we could put the three of them in there and then just have Skanda live in, like, a little lean-to by himself. Uh, just because apparently he's like the smelly kid. I need a few more logs, though, if we're going to make this work. How long is that going to take? Six hours? All right, go for it. I'm not against it. You got to do what you got to do. There you go. Chop down a few more trees. Use your last hour right there. Mm, we got a spacious wattle shack now. What do we not have? Oh, we don't have the straw. Yeah, let's find some cattails. Any cattails around? Cattails, where are you? There's a cattail in my lap right now. Because Ollie's sitting in my lap. There we go. Dead cattail plant right there. We'll grab that. Now we should have enough for the spacious wattle shack. But I think we got to find, like, flat ground to put it on is the hard part. There you go. There's our wattle shack. Put some time into it. It's going to take 34 hours to get done. Good, sweet Lord, baby Jesus. But, like, this will clear out a lot of problems for us if we can get it in there, because then we can bulldoze the rest of these shacks, except for the one that Scaro lives in. And everybody should be fine sharing that space, and then he can live off by himself in the corner because he's the smelly kid. Here comes the storm. I swear to God, if it blows down my house... So is it just like a monsoon? Like, what is it? It looks like it blew a crate ashore. That's pretty sweet. I'm okay with that. Yeah, grab the crate. We need that for our warehouse or whatever it is. Uh, you put another seven hours in there and get that thing done. And then the people that can live here are Pharaoh, you, and you, I think, right? So he's clumsy, gets two less work hours when he sleeps outside, one more food a day, and then Skanda is good to go. And then this guy is the only guy that needs to, like, sleep by himself. So let's go ahead and tear these down. Skanda can keep his house. But everybody else lives inside of here. And then we'll build stuff up later. I suppose I could have left those huts open in case we get new villagers. But I don't care. I decided. I thought about it real hard. And I don't care. <laughs> 
<laughs> These things happen from time to time when Splattercat thinks about doing things, okay? Uh, I got some bamboo left. I should probably send somebody to go fishing. Did we catch anything? I don't feel like we caught anything. Did we run out of fish? I'm a little confuzzled right now. I mean, I've got some frog legs, so it's not that big of a deal. So is this, like, dictated by how many things are on the beach in this area? Like, so I'm a little bit confused. Like, there's fish right there. Maybe we just can't fish this season. Maybe that's what it is. Do you guys at least level up from that? I got a little bit of a level, so at least they got a tiny bit of a level from it. So at least it served some purpose. That's kind of curious. I wonder why we're not catching anything. This thing was catching it like 100% of the time before, and now it's not. Hmm. We may have food considerations very, very soon. Is there a place where I can look at... Let's see. Is there a place where I can look at what my total stockpiles are? We're, like, kind of going into winter, too. So, like, without food, I feel like this is going to go nasty. Two more people? Dude, I don't know if we can handle two more people. Two more people is a lot. Like, that's a considerable grip of humanity. I mean, there are fish around, and I think we still have the things available to make a fishing... Yeah, we can make a couple more fishing spears. That's like the last of our bamboo, though. So, fair warning. Uh, might not be good. We've got zucchini and tomato seeds, and we've got a little bit more fiber right there. You might as well make that. Are any of you guys good at fishing? Hold on, let's have a look at Linus' abilities. He's dressed warmly. Reduces the food by one for every villager. Oh, cool. Nice, dude. Well, maybe keeping you around is a good idea. What about you, though? Alvarin. How do I, like, get rid of somebody? Because I want to keep the guy. He's a pedagogue, though. He makes everybody level up twice as fast. Oh, he's kind of good, though, too. I just don't know how we're going to feed everybody. That's the part that's really concerning me right now, is I have no idea how we're going to get everybody fed. Like, I mean, there's a lot of fish over here, but the fishing dock is not working at the moment. Like, at all. It's not even, like, trying to work. Yeah. Maybe we have to rebuild it somewhere else. How hard is it to build? Am I losing anything right there when I tear it down? Like, it shouldn't be that hard to just take that and put it somewhere else. So two, three, and one. If I recycle it, I get two, two, and one. That's fine. We can get more string. Recycle that, and maybe it's fishing these little guys right here. So rebuild it down here. Like, where's a, where's a spot where there's lots of fishies at? Like, this area seems pretty good. Is there a better area? This is kind of good down here, though. Yeah, put it right there. Put two hours into it. I want to see if this works. It did. So apparently you have to rotate your fishing every now and again. Yeah. It looks like it, actually. You've got to rotate your fishing supply every now and again because you use it all up. Intradasting. Okay. Well, either way, make more food. We're going to need it. Like, honestly, the bonus from getting these two guys shouldn't be too bad, though. Or, I'm sorry, the penalty for food shouldn't be that terrible. Like, and all we really have to do is outlast winter, maybe? 
So maybe we have to rotate and build like multiples of these in different areas and then we can just like move them around as necessary. We don't really lose a whole lot for not having them any longer. I'm out of bamboo, so like I'm not intensely convinced. Like I'm not intensely convinced that like making the spears is a good idea. Sorry, I lost my train of thought right there. But, like, making the spears is, like, very, very resource-intensive. And when the spears break, they're gone forever. And you never get that bamboo back. You never get any of that stuff back. It's just, like, gone, right? But, like, when it comes to these right here, you can break them down. All you lose is one string. You can move them to another spot where there's more fish. And as the fish regenerate in different spots, you can just kind of, like, move them around. And so I think this might be our sustainable method... For surviving on the island without having to worry about, you know, running out of this, that, or the other. Just a thought. So I think that might be what I try to do. Uh, cook up a little bit more food. Yeah, there you go. 24 should hold us for at least two days, hopefully. It might, it might not. I don't know. This is one of those games that I don't really know the prevailing meta for, unfortunately. If I did know the prevailing meta, I would have a lot more ideas. Uh, we have no fibers left either. It's concerning. It's definitely an issue. Well, hopefully everything regrows next year, because if the island stays super bare, and speaking of which, by the way, what island are we on right now where it snows, but then it's also monsoon season? Hold up. I'm pretty sure places that... Pretty sure places that get snow don't have monsoon season. Monsoon season is very much like a Pacific Island slash lowland area subject to the winds over the sea type deal. Just saying. Either way, we have snow to deal with, so. Oh, yeah, we still have a bunch of stuff we can do. So this guy's got an axe. Chop down some trees, dude. Why not? You've got your axe left over? Chop down some trees, dude. Do your thing, man. Do thy thing. And then we'll gather up a few more seashells, too, just in case we need them. I don't know if we got any flax seeds around. I would have liked it if we had gotten some flax seeds. What is that? So we've got a spelt plant. It's called hulled wheat. You can make straw with it, too. Oh, maybe we should plant the spelt, then. We never got these seeds. Interesting. But we have spelt. Okay. I don't know where to put spelt. But we'll start some farms next year. I'll probably just like farm it up over here in this little green area maybe. Like once spring arrives. Yeah. I mean that's the planting season. So we'll wait a little bit. We don't have to do it right now. Apparently we can plant bamboo from bamboo shoots. Should probably do that, because my guess is that we're going to need more bamboo at some point. We have a bunch of acorns. Villager's too tired. Oh, that's fine. There we go. Let's, like, plant some trees and whatnot. Sort of, like, repopulate the island with things that are useful for later. Like, sustainability, I think, is probably going to become a factor, like, the longer we're on the island. Uh, yeah, it's fine. You can bypass the turn all you want. Bypass away. Oh, that guy slept outdoors. I forgot we needed to build another house. Okay, so how many houses do I need? I need two houses. How nice of a house doesn't really matter. I think we're just going to make a couple of lean-tos, in all honesty. I don't see a reason to stress about it. You can build your own house, man. You want to live there? You got to build it. That's the way this works. It's just how life functions. And then your lean-to will be over here. I do not envy anybody having to live in a lean-to in the snow. Does it not want to be down there? There we go. Put that right there. 
Finish it off. You can build his house, too, because I'm being lazy right now. So everybody has a house now. Now, if we get any more people, I need to figure out how to banish them, because we have more than enough labor at the moment. What we don't have enough of is food. Like, we're going to go through food pretty rapidly. I'm going to set people up to fish for right now. I don't want to fish the little fish. I want to use my... There we go. I want to use this. So this place is looking like it ain't fishing no mo, Which means that we can take this over here. Oh, no. I'm out of fibers. Christ. At least I still have this fishing shack. Maybe it's just because they're bad at fishing. I mean, it says she's an expert fisherwoman's, though. There's fish in the water, like, right there. They're, like, right there. I can see them. Mm, I gotta figure out a way to get some string. That's what Splatty needs. Splatty needs some string. Where am I string at? Where am I string? Where am I string? Where am I string at? Where are my homies with the guns and the bling at? There we go. We gotta have, like, a song. If we don't have at least one bout of sing-songy nonsense per episode, people get upset with me. I guess just clean up the beach for right now. Like, I don't think we have anything around here that we can use to make... Uh, strings. So... Yeah, you can't tell how much you need it before you don't have enough anymore. Exactly. Thank you, game. Thank you for rubbing it in my eye. I appreciate that. That's very, very kind of you. You're the best, game. God. <laughs> you won't know how much you need this until you need it. <laughs> Go back to your corner. <laughs> uh, my name is Splattercat. This is Seeds of Resilience. We're out of time. I will see you all later. Thank you for stopping on in. It's been really, really fun, everybody. Hope you have enjoyed the playthrough. If you want to see more, you know what to do. You know exactly what to do. Other than that, hi, do, and take care, everybody. Got nothing else for you. Bye.